Hi, so uh, this is a video about how the uh, uh, core works in uh, uh, the LibreSock um, uh, processor and uh, specifically um, the the way that uh, the data structures, uh, reg, uh, reg specs as they're called, register specifications, um, which are associated with function units get connected to the register files and um, what we'll also do is cover the um, the hazard um, uh, uh, port detection which is being added to the in order uh, version of the core so um, here we have a representation of a register file you can see it's an integer and it's got um, uh, three in uh, three r one w right so you've got r a r b r c and um, RRT. And here we have some uh, uh, representations of pipelines. All right, so we've got an ALU pipeline which has um, uh, register A in, uh, register B um, in, and um, uh, uh, that's uh, sticky overflow. That's on the XER. Um, and um, uh, you have uh, RT out, which is the result, and you have condition, condition register zero, CR zero out. So, um, of course, for the logical one, you have RA and RB and RT, but it, the, the profile for this is, is different from uh, this one. The condition register pipeline will have uh, has um, uh, three four-bit condition register fields in and a full 32-bit in as well and a, um, a single CR uh, condition register field output a four bit and a full one so this one can do um oh, oh and <laughs> and it has r a in and r t out so it will have c r yes let's not use purple eh? C R A, C R B, C R C, and full. Two, three, and um, it has R A in, and it has R T out. It has a C R A out, and it has a full thirty-two bit C R as well. And these two are. Uh, virtual ports um, on top of constructed on top of four bit ports they call it so um, and they're unary encoded so you have uh, um, eight uh, eight bits um, so you can actually set the whole thing um, uh, uh, so to set the whole CR in and basically what what that allows you to do is for these these will be used for um, condition register ops the four bit um, uh, uh, operations CR and CR or etc etc um, where um, you just do a couple of bits and you have um, one uh, that gets modified um, but this one is for MFOCR and um, MTC, MTCR so you go from RA into the full one and you can go from full one into RT um, uh, uh, thing so uh, it, it, you know it's one two three four five five ports in and three out um, which is a hell of a lot um, branch likewise um, has um, um, SPR zero here in SP. Uh, no, what, what does it have? Um, uh, it's got um, PC in on one side and PC out on the other. Um, I, I can't actually exactly remember what it what it what it is. Um, uh, but you know, you, you get the idea that all of these are completely different, um, but they have um, uh, different profiles and different needs of what comes in and what goes out. So um, obviously we can't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do the thing. We can't have 12 inputs on the register file. So we need um, for, for, for read and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, right. That's just um, uh, 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 technically, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, nobody, um, uh, well, people struggle, um, even, you know, Intel, et cetera, et cetera, um, struggle to do um, uh, six right uh, on uh, register files. So we have to have some sort of port contention um, as a, a contended resource, right? And this is what the priority pickers are for, okay? So 
um, the uh, this this one this a the ALU one goes has an RT out when it only has one there's only one right so what happens is that um, uh, 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 this when this if both of these uh, request a right and this one as well if if all three of these write, only one of them is, per, is allowed permission to actually write because it's a single contended resource. And um, so a broadcast bus is, is created, but you can only broadcast one thing at a time. Uh, consequently, that's what the priority picker is for, is to say which one, and this is a, it is a, a, a one heart output. Um, it's only, only coded in and only coded out. It's a very simple, very elegant piece of code, but it's effectively back to back a um uh, 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 an unary to binary followed by a binary to unary um in encoder and consequently only one only one of these can be the high at any at one time and that gives you the um the um the uh, uh, ability to only have one of them uh, sing and consequently um that the, the these alus the in the in the function unit the computational unit they raise their go write request that bit per port is put you know per relevant port is uh, put into here um, only one of those is picked um, that goes back to the uh, go uh, go uh, go write input and um, immediately on that cycle, um, the data is it must be uh, written to the thing. So it's it's a it's a hard requirement that when your go write input is uh, raised high, each of these uh, function use must without fail on that exact cycle transmit to the register file and drop their request. <coughs> so um, now, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of pipelines. Um, there's over 10 um, of those and um, there's also a hell of a lot of register file ports um, uh, on, on these things and there are very few here. Now the totals at the moment, if we did absolutely everything, it will be over 660 uh, register file ports because they have a huge number of actual register files. There's the uh, integer, there's um, fast, there's SPR, there's XER, there's uh, state, which can state contains MSR, PC, and uh, SVB64 state, and um, uh, uh, CR as well. Um, so CR, fast, XER, SPR, state, register, and uh, FPR. FPR when we get round to it. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven registers, completely separate register files. Um, XER restores um, uh, uh, sticky overflow. Um, uh, overflow and um, uh, carry carry uh, in and out. Um, it's only got six bits. It's only three registers, only six bits. But um, uh, in order to um, <coughs> ensure that it um, uh, doesn't uh, end up as a contended resource that uh, creates uh, um, uh, uh, propagation delays, etc., etc., we want um, it to actually be treated as own register file, despite the registers being two bits. Sounds bizarre, but that's that's um, uh, that's how you stop um, uh, resource contention. Um, so, uh, but that that's a, 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 a high level sort of view. But but relating it to the actual um, uh, uh, to the um, to the source code, um, there is. Um, in the in the source code, you will see um, there is um, pipe pipe underscore data on a per pipeline basis, and also reg spe reg specs. And the, the reg specs data looks like this. So let's go for the ALU ALU, and it will have a uh, a, a list. Containing um, some strings, um, which say this is the integer register file, and this is port RA, um, and uh, the uh, uh, the, it, it, the the it's a uh, to sixty four. Okay, so that means that it's um, uh, 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 
64 bits, uh, you know, just standard standard Python um, uh, uh, thing, but it's a it's a it's a range, right? And likewise, there'll be an int. That means it's an integer register file, and there's an rb. And again, not to 64. Now this is for the inputs. This is for read. Comma. Um, Int again, RC, not colon 64. Um, and uh, I won't do all of them, but uh, there's, uh, <coughs> there's um, uh, the XER um, sticky overflow, let's say, uh, and it's not colon. Two, so it's only two bits wide, and then you have the right one. And they're tr 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 treated separately. Again, int. Uh, I think I call it O for output. And uh, the CR CR zero or CRA, can't remember exactly what it is. Um, not colon four, so it's four bits wide. Okay, so you have the um, one spec for read and one spec for write. Now. Um, Coming back to here, these are basic, this is basically this, these are the read ones on this side and that's the write on the other and the writing one that's on the other side. Okay. So what then happens is um, that uh, these goes into the function units, function units, and um, uh, you end up with a, a data structure Um, a data structure um, on the uh, uh, in the uh, in the in the core, which uh, which is a dictionary, a Python dictionary um, of the function name. Followed by its specification. Da, 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 int. Da, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Comma. Logical. Followed by its specification. The reg specs. That. Et cetera, et cetera. One for each one. Which one? Right. Now, as far as the register files are concerned, this is completely useless, useless information um, uh, because um, the, the information about uh, the register file is here, not in here. So this is a, these, um, uh, these are the top level keys the, 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 um, uh, in the... Um, in the class all function units, this goes through to a class called all function units. All function units. Um, uh, the information is collated um, uh, 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 because it's all, the all function units class knows which all ALUs have been um, uh, made available, and um, so the, it, you get the you get this dictionary um, by uh, the ALU name, so it's actually ALU0, AL logical 0 so you can have multiple function units. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, uh, now, these... Um, the, so it's, it's basically, as far as the register files are concerned and the, creating the priority, because this information in this particular order is totally useless, right? So what we have to do is to transform this into something which is by right, 
register file name. So we're basically going to invert these. But this data structure has to record this information of which way at which ALU has which connection to which register file port. And there will be multiple of those. Okay, so for, for integer, we are going to have a list containing the fact that um, uh, 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 you have um, uh, 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 the ALU0, which has du -du 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 RA. Um, but, uh, but hang on. This isn't going to be enough because it's going to be merged, right? Um, we're going to have, we have, if we have RA, um, well, that could conflict with RB. So this is actually useless, right? What we actually need is int, because bear in mind, we've got to create, uh, uh, let's say we decided instead that we didn't want to merge these, we'd actually wanted, um, uh, um, uh, on the read side here, this is the RA integer re reg uh, priority picker. We also need an RB integer priority read priority picker and an RC integer priority picker. Yeah, let, it, let the screen focus. So RB would go into prior picker here. RB would go into the priority picker here. RB, uh, sort of thing, where is it? Uh, load store will have an RA and a RARP RB. And that will go into there and come back and pick and things. And then it will go to there. Yeah. So this dictionary is useless. We need actually a dictionary of dictionary of lists, R A, comma, and now we have a list of A L U zero, comma, logical zero. Uh, what would we say? Load store has a load store zero, has an RA, brackets, comma, RB, um, which also has ALU zero, etc. to do the thing, um, and uh, RC will only be shift, not zero, and uh, mul zero when we add uh, multiplying accumulates um, thing etc. Car close brackets <laughs> comma S condition register colon cr zero zero a Uh, another dictionary there, CRA, uh, car, another dictionary there. Uh, um, uh, you get the idea, all right? It is, you've basically taken a dictionary of lists of the names there, made that the primary key here, and that the secondary key there, and finally put that in a list in here and that is enough information to be able to construct to reconstruct um, uh, uh, this information here about these these relationships between that that and that okay <clears throat> now um, uh, an additional complication wonderful as is is um, that we have uh, um, uh, 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 pipelines uh, where um, you cannot leave any data unattended at all. 
uh, you just can't um, uh, because you end up with uh, overwrite um, uh, uh, thing, uh, situation. So um, what we've got, let's say you have an ALU pipeline here. Let's say it only has two stages. Pipe zero, pipe one. Let's call it the ALU. And because it's two, let's say it's let's say it's three stages. Okay, pipe two. In order to monitor the data going um, that's in there, you can have up to three pieces of data in this pipeline. Therefore, you need a minimum of three reservation stations. Let's say four. Let's say we've got four. You have your data in. <coughs> um, I won't do it all, we'll do it all, but um, it's RA, RB, RC, uh, RA, RB, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll just do it. We'll just do RA and RB, RA, RB. And um, you have to have bus contention of um, it, it's not um, it, 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 the, the, the of the operands. So it's a bus for A. And a second bus for B. Going into here. And um, how it gets processed is a thing that will basically output uh, an RT. And you'll also out a, 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 a CR0. Oops. Um, now, um, uh, so what I've written is a cr cross called reservation stations. Actually, reservation stations too. Because reservation stations one was a badly, badly designed pile of poo. <laughs> and in, um, in the all, all function units class, These are designed to look exactly like one of these. So as far as all functions units concerned, um, it contains things that look like a single function unit. Now it has a bit more weight stating going on than these, but it has um, a thing. So basically what what although this is the actual alu this can be called alu zero this can be called alu one this can be called alu two alu three actually it's that and that is alu zero that and that is alu one uh, uh three because the input to here looks like that input there and the output here looks like that output there and it has the exact same ready valid signaling as this and this here on the on the input and the output okay so when it comes to here you can genuinely have alu0 comma alu1 comma alu2 comma alu3 which starts to massively increase the number of um, uh, inputs and outputs that you have um, on the priority pickers try contending for uh, the, um, the, 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 the bus um, uh, accessing the, the, a, a given register file port. And um, if we are not careful, 
we could easily end up with 70 to 100 different uh, 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 register file ports um, uh, uh, um, accesses um, um, uh, or through through different um, uh, things because this this if we have if this is a if this is a three stage pipeline we require a minimum of 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 minimum of three step series here now it looks like you've got three ALUs well each of these has RA RB RC and uh, 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 carry XER carry XER overflow and XER um, sticky overflow and that's one two three four five six six ports six times four four six six twenty four just for ALU 24 port management just for ALU. Then you've got logical as well, which also has some uh, um, uh, some ports as well. Um, uh, uh, things. So you're looking at uh, 24, maybe about uh, 40 just for two pipelines. Um, shift register, um, shift uh, shift rotate will be another um, another um, uh, uh, 24, etc. So e easily um, we end up with a, 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 a hundred register file ports if we're not careful. So um, adding, we need less pipelines, not more. And at some point, what we're going to have to do is to is to um, amalgamate some of these. By, by another class um, uh, would um, effectively merge uh, ALU and uh, logical, for example. So it's, it's this sort of is is in here as well, and um, uh, 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 th th there would be redirection. You know, if uh, if an, an ALU operation came, it would direct it to the ALU pipeline and logical or thing. And that way we can share these ALU lodge, ALU lodge, lodge, ALU lodge uh, pipeline um, uh, uh, n names as far as the reservation stations were current, concerned, um, uh, reducing down the, the numbers. <clears throat> but not now. Um, uh, 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 it's, it's, that's... That requires some 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 thought um, as to how to do that because um, because uh, 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 it, the reservation stations would end up um, uh, receiving two two different uh, functions um, uh, uh, yeah and you and you, you need to know which one's busy and what it can do which one it can do <clears throat> which which one can do what ah oh. <clears throat> excuse um. So yeah, I I, just, it, I wanted to I think I'll leave the um the 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 um the bit vectors the hazard um, thing for another time, but it, I just wanted to go go over that to explain that it's not as simple and straightforward as um uh, uh, um uh, as would normally um, expect things to be um you know in a uh, an HDL because all of the code that that's, that would be written. Um, would be entirely explicit and um, coded by hand. Um, you would have your know, actual code, which um, uh, instantiated in, in multiple instances of these, and wired them up manually in actual explicit code. Whereas what actually happens in our, in our case is because we're using Python, we can create these. Um, dictionaries and lists of dictionaries and specifications, etc., and then have a function, Python function, from this creates that. So that's the uh, um, dictionary of lists of specificate register specifications, one for read and one for write, which is transformed into <clears throat> a dictionary of dictionary of lists of uh, a dictionary by key of the register file by a dictionary key of the register port by a uh, containing a list of the uh, function units um, that are in, in that um, uh, uh, that are contending from that port and this here is what you create the priority picker for that's what you create the big priority picker for this list on a per list basis Okay, because you've got a, you've got the single port. This is a contend. This is your contended resource on your integer register file. This is your contended resource on your CR register file. One for read, one for write. Yeah, one for read, and one for write. So, 
um, uh, so that's um, there is uh, there are functions in co in the core core.py which from this create that and then create that and then allocate these priority pickers and connect them up to the read uh, reg file port and to the write reg file port um, entirely in Python. So that's it.